Hi there Paint Shop Pro users, welcome to my site and welcome to this video. This is going to be another blend mode video and I'm going to do mask layers once again, only we'll do with the show all this time. And uh, if you get blend modes down and you get the mask layers down, boy you've got a lot of good stuff that you can use with Paint Shop Pro. So let's get started. Okay, here's our layers palette. I've taken the liberty of making a background copy. And what I'm going to do is add a new adjustment layer for levels, bingo, accept it as it is. Now I've got this levels one and copy of background. I can change this to screen. Wow, isn't that cool? Now I have a couple adjustments I can do in here. I can change the opacity if I want to take it down a little bit. Or I can go back in here, double click on there. I can take the preview off, move it over and I can fiddle around with the levels uh, so that gives you more fine adjustment and you can see it doing things in the background there it's getting too bright now so I'm just going to cancel that one because I'm not going to do any adjustments I'm just going to leave it the way it is so there's our image take off the levels with screen uh, blend mode put it back on big difference right it's amazing Okay, so like we did in the other multiply blend mode, I'm going to merge the levels one and the copy of background into one layer, merge down. Now I'm going to add on a layer, or a mask layer they called, in PaintShop Pro. Photoshop, they're called layer masks. I'm going to hide all this time. Now you can see it's taken away all the adjustments, so I have to paint back in the adjustments that I want to do. So I want everything below the sky to be light and I want the sky to stay that same darker color because it was too brilliant on the other one. So how do we do that? Well we do it the same way we did before only backwards which doesn't make any sense whatsoever does it? Uh, if you get the paintbrush tool I've got my Wacom tablet so I've, I've got it set for size so the harder I press the bigger the brush stroke will get and I've got white as my foreground color. If you have two different colors in here just tap there and that'll bring your default colors to the foreground. And to change white and black, you just do that. So, all the little housekeeping things are out of the way. I've got 100% opacity up there, so what we do is just start painting away. And you can see how easy that goes. I'm just painting in the adjustment that I had. And again, I'm not going to sit here and make you watch this whole thing go what I'll do is finish it all up and then we'll come back in and do some fine tuning maybe we'll even get to another blend mode who knows that could be a record okay you can see it's following along very slowly and there it is okay so I'm gonna finish this off and then I'll come back hi I'm back after hours and hours and hours of painting this is what I've got done so you can see from the layers palette that I painted everything in white all around here and left the black areas. And the black areas are the sky where I want it to be. And I can see I have a little goof up here, a little problem area. And uh, I can fix that. I can show you how to fix that because you probably already know. So let's zoom in on that. So that little white line there shouldn't be there. So I get my brush tool, it's very small, it's like one pixel, and I'm using black to paint back in here, and there we go, it's all fixed. So let's take a look at the full thing again, and there it is. So that's uh, quite a bit different from the original image, here's the original, there, that's the original, and that's the screen blend mode plus the mask layer. Now I can take off the mask layer and that was with no mask layer on there and there's the mask layer. So I don't know if that's any better but you can certainly do this if you have a spot that you can uh, that you that you want to work with to keep dark or light or whatever. So that's the mask layers and that is the screen blend mode and uh, they are pretty cool. Okay so let's take a look at another one. We've got enough time here. Okay, here's another image. This is an image of a truck, in case you didn't understand that. Uh, 
what I want to do is increase the contrast of this just a little bit. And you're going to do that with either the curves dialog, or if you don't want to use curves, if you just want a quick one, you're going to use overlay, the overlay blend mode. And here we are with our typical layers palette background copy and all that. Let's add on a new layers or levels adjustment. Accept it and change this to overlay. Okay, you can see that's increased the contrast a bit. Not particularly appealing, is it? Um, so to fix that, I'm going to take and I'm going to lower the opacity. Okay, so now it's about 31%. Now if I take it off and put it back on again, you can see how it pops out a bit more when you've got that overlay blend mode on. You've got more contrast. This area seems nicer. The background area seems nicer. It's just a better thing. So let's go up to around 50%. See how that looks. There's our 50% uh, on, 50% off. So you can see how easily this uh, overlay blend mode does things. So give this a try too. It's a, you know you can try it in any image. When I first looked at this truck image, I thought, well, it's okay. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. Then I put the blend mode overlay on it, started fiddling around with it, and I saw, yeah, it was a bit flat originally. Um, and there it is. It's kind of flat. And now you've got some a bit more pop to it. So there you've got two more blend modes: screen for lightening, an image, and you've got overlay for increasing contrast. And you've got mask layers again. So these things are really useful, as you can see. Now I'm not gonna do a mask layer here. Uh, you know, I mean this despite the fact that I think this is an incredible picture, it's really not that great. And it doesn't strike uh chords with anybody for sure. So there you go. Two more blend modes, another mask layer tutorial, and I hope things are getting clear here. There's two more blend modes to cover and they are color and luminosity and they're fairly quick so we'll do that on another video and I really appreciate you spending your valuable time watching this and uh, enjoy it have fun with these and make sure you pay a visit to my site at the, the graphics tablet so thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next video bye